Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about updates to the MG ZS EV. There have been quite a few. First one I'm going to talk about is the BMS, Battery Management System. Now there have been four BMS updates that I'm aware of. The first BMS update I'm aware of was around November 2019 to help enable smart charging. Unfortunately, it only works with the OMI charger and I think one other one, which I can't remember, I use the OMI charger. It didn't work with the Rolex one or the Podpoint one, which MG supplied. The only way those were enabled to be work with a tariff where you wanted to charge at a cheap rate overnight, like using Octopus Go or Agile, was to have a trickle charge enabled by the manufacturer. So initially OMI did that until this workout workaround came out and Rolex used this workaround until the middle of 2020. So that was the first one. The second BMS update that I'm aware of occurred around July 2020 and this allowed the Rolex and other chargers supposedly to smart charge as well. It also enabled the car to be charged whilst the car was unlocked. Some people reported this happening, some didn't. It's very difficult to determine what battery management system update you've got in your car. However, at this point in time, MG managed to introduce a little issue with the BMS update in that the car would potentially take six, seven, eight hours to do an equalization charge, which they said should take half an hour to an hour. So in October 2020, they released another update, which wasn't general knowledge as far as I'm aware. And this rectified supposedly the long equalization for balancing the battery. However, it introduced other issues such that you had reduced range and also a lack of power at low state of charge. Well, no, not at low state of charge, but at, you know, 50, 60 percent. Whenever it was cold, specifically, I noticed it the most. And also regenerative braking was lacking at lower state of charges, which was odd. And yes, you expect no regenerative braking when it's 100 percent. That's normal. But when you're 50, 60, 20%, whatever, and you're getting lack of regenerative braking available, something's wrong. So the October 2020 was an update to sort out the long equalization times, but introduced other issues, such that the cells would not balance at a lower state of charge and resulted in range issues and also lack of power and regenerative braking, especially when cold. The update only really came to light when the temperature dropped and we all found that our range had decreased dramatically, with some users only able to add 20 plus kilowatt hours to an almost empty battery. I understand this update was also applied to European cars at the same time as a battery heater update, which I'll cover in a moment. So owners thought that the heater was causing the drain, but I suspect that the heater isn't causing the drain as much as the Duff BMS that was released in October 2020. In January 2021, on filming this, I found out today confirmation that my MG dealer had this on their system. There is an update that is supposed to rectify all these problems. We understand it may take a few cycles with equalization to get back to what it was like after the November 2019 update. So this following is from an Israeli MG importer. As a result of an inaccurate algorithm in the software installed in the vehicles on specific dates, an imbalance was created between the battery cells. In practice, the battery management computer detects and stops charging when the first cell reaches maximum charge and sets this mode to about 100% charge. As a result, over time, and depending on the nature and use of charging, a greater imbalance is created between the cells that the battery management computer did not correctly detect and did not reduce, which actually resulted in a reduction in the amount of energy the battery contains after a full charge and a reduction in the possible range of travel. The update received from the manufacturer and tested by us updates the software of the battery management computer, BMS, and performs a slow procedure of balancing cells 
while using the vehicle and at the end of charging until reaching an optimal state. The length of time it will take to reach the ideal balance varies and depends on the condition of the cell balance before the update, the nature and duration of use of the vehicle and charging each day. Now they're talking about keeping the car in the garage for about five or six days and doing this balance. But I don't think that's practical for most people. I think most people will have the BMS update done and then they will cycle it themselves, charge up, equalize, use the car, charge up, equalize. And eventually you should get back to the full uh, voltage, which should be about 455 volts when the car is at 100%. Lots of people have been saying that their voltage is around the sort of the 436, 437. Mine is around 446, none of which are right. So that's the battery management system update and it is now available to MG in the UK and it looks like it's available to other users throughout the world as well. There have also been some other updates. There was a high voltage fuse update where the DC, DC and TC modules were updated because a few vehicles just completely stopped for no apparent reason whatsoever. And this was released in August 2020. And this is quite an important one to get because the car, as I say, it just stopped for no apparent reason. And then there was a battery heater update for the Scandinavian countries to help alleviate Colgate where the car would only charge very slowly at a rapid charge due to the cold battery and ambient temperature. This has very strict criteria to work, where the minimum cell temperature has to be below 10 degrees C, the state of charge between 20% and 55%, and the battery coolant has to be below 35 degrees C. It turns off as soon as the battery coolant temperature reaches 25 degrees C. When it is working, you should expect to see around 20 amp current draw. The automatic heater still works when plugged into a rapid charger, even if the heater is turned off in the infotainment system. I have had this current battery heater update applied to my car. I have not yet seen it work because my state of charge has either been too high or too low, or the temperatures have been too high. It generally will only work in Scandinavian countries where the ambient temperature is minus five or below. So for UK use, I would say that it's not worth having. If you're in Scotland and you get temperatures that low, then maybe it's worth having. And then the last update that I'm aware of is a door wiring issue. And this was on early cars, possibly before sort of April, May 2020. I'm not exactly sure when the cutoff and when the update was done to all production vehicles, but there was a problem with the driver's door electrics, chafing a cable in the door, and there's a warranty repair for those cars that replaces the wiring and changes the route, I understand. I have had mine done to my car. So those are all the updates that I'm aware of for the MG ZS EV. There's the four BMS updates, there's the battery heater update, there's the high voltage fuse update and the wiring loom update. I hope this has been helpful. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you for watching.